Good afternoon, Los Alamos esports fans. You're joining Coach Goodbody, Coach Hubby, for a stream of today's match between the Secret City Esports Los Alamos High School Rocket League team against uh, the Aztec Tigers from New Mexico. Coach Goodbody, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Excited to see what uh, week two is going to come for this uh, Aztec team. Yeah, we've had some uh, real last-minute roster changes here from the Aztec side, so uh, kind of exciting to look at what this match is going to be today. Um, yeah, a little can... unexpected to see that uh, swap around. It seems like in the past hour they swapped two uh, two teammates out. Exactly. So what looks like kind of a possibly a walkover match uh, has turned into something a bit more interesting. I can hop right into the lineups right away. Uh, why don't we look at the Aztec lineup first and see what we're dealing with. So here we have the Aztec Tigers. As we said, there's a couple of last minute changes. I would say a couple of upgrades here from uh, what, what the lineup was yesterday to today. So leading the charge will be Cho Chotlet. And I double checked the spelling of that and it's not chocolate. Um, I spelled it here correctly, I believe. So not quite sure what that is, uh, but he's a, he or she is a diamond level player. Um, and supporting Cho Cholet is E Fire Dragon, also another diamond level player. So, uh, uh, pretty pretty good lineup they're they're showing here. I Punch Llama is kind of the wild card. Not sure what the ranking is for I Punch Llamas. So, um, you never quite know what you're gonna get with the with the unranked player, or at least the player we can't find the the ranking of. Any. any It'll be it. It'll be interesting to see what his uh, car design is too, because uh, with Llama Rama, maybe he's rocking that whole thing, and that's why I went for that name. That's that's my uh, guess interesting, there. Interesting, interesting. All right, the match is going to start pretty soon here. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, Secret City Esports lineup here. You want to go through this one, Coach? Yeah, it looks like we got uh, Ryan. He's uh, returning back from last season. He was in the fall season, just kind of sporadically popping in. So that's Ryan Peterson. He's coming in around Champ 2. And then uh, we got Henshina, which is Reese Lovato. He's just broken into Diamond and keeps on climbing. I, I'm very happy to see him go. And same for Landboy, Henry. He's been uh, climbing through that plat rank and getting ready to break out and getting into that Diamond. So it's going to exactly. be exciting to see this. Exactly. Yeah, I know. I know Landboy just on the cusp of Diamond, like you said. And Ryan, you know, we'd, we've been talking with him the last week or so about uh, his move up to, to Grand Champ. So I think there's... You know, a lot of possibilities with this lineup, even though it's a new a new team. All right, I hear the music starting, so why don't we get right over to the match? Always an interesting map to go and play. Um, this dome has the hexagons going on on the ceiling and walls, so it's hard to figure out where the curves are on these for any type of reads so we're going to be Let's, seeing that coming into play with uh, a lot of diamond hard clears and aerials coming through yeah <laughs> like we said this is a, a little different lineup this week for uh, los alamos though ryan is kind of a i don't know one of the veterans on the team let's say competing in the majority of the matches last year for Los Alamos. Yeah, he's currently doing double time. He's got to do uh, soccer for the high school team, and then he's playing for the esports team as well. So as needed, he hops in. And he definitely exactly. shows up. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point that uh, he's <sighs> juggling here. So we haven't seen him yet this season. Anyway, this should be an interesting matchup. Let's see what happens here. It's almost in blue this week. A little different than our normal matches, so uh, hopefully we can handle that. He ran oh. into a really nice shot in off the post. He was, I don't know if it was on purpose or not, he wasn't able to get a second touch on that. We'll say it's on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost with an early one goal lead here, just 20 seconds off the clock. I don't know if you've been able to check out Lama's car yet. I don't know if it's what you're expecting. No, definitely not. He's on fire, though. Yeah, there's a unfortunate 
whiffed there by the Los Alamos side. Not quite sure what happened there. So focused on Lana's car that calling him out gave him the goal, I believe. Yeah, just said it <laughs> said it too many times and he came alive. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of an unfortunate goal given up there by the Los Alamos side. See if we can have some of uh, Henshina's normal ball control this match. See how he can connect with Ryan I'm on the passing plays. See E-Fire Dragon with the interception there. Taking the pass to the middle. I'm just going to call him Chocolate because I can't say it any other way. <laughs> Man, boy, does win that. It's interesting. Uh, now yeah. they have the new Batmobile back out for you to get, so that's a new hitbox uh, that's coming into play right there. So Interesting. Those things have some very hard clears and good pinches, so... Okay. Not sure how they 50-50, but it seems like they're faring well so far. Coach oh, Goodbody just dropping Rocket League facts on us. Very nice. Nice center from Ryan. Unfortunately, no one on the connecting end of that. And Boy and Hinshina both get a commitment on that ball, unfortunately. Put it going up the sidewall, see if he can make a play on this. He can. A really nice pass to center, but again, nobody there for the passes to the middle at this point. Ryan's going to go up, see if he can make a solo play. He fakes. Chocolate with the block. I punch Llamas on another fast break here. That's see if he can get a second, second open net goal. Just touches it a little too hard. Lamboy going up, see if he can clear this ball. Chocolate reads it just fine. Not going to follow up, though. Sheena does give it away there. Two players going up for the Aztecs. Ryan with a really nice shot. Aztec is able to clear it away. Let's see if Lamboy can center this. He is going directly for a shot. Looks like Aztec's going to stabilize here. Boy does take it back. He has an option here. Good pinch out to the middle to see if Ryan can make a play on this. He can with his second Man. shot off Double the post right there. off the post. I'm, I'm sure he's doing this on purpose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that and mess up two times in a row perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, unbelievable. Yeah. The critical second goal there by the Los Alamos side to take the lead in this game one. No, we didn't get into it at the beginning of the show just because we had to hop right into the match. But this is our second game of the kind of first round of the fall season where, you know, winning these first two matches is, is somewhat important. So the Swiss bracket will be uh, in the following weeks a little more competitive. Ryan with another shot off the backboard. And Sheena goes up. Aztec does commit two players to that. They're not going to follow up. Let's see if Landboy is able to control this, knowing that nobody's coming up. And Sheena back to Landboy. Unfortunately, he's going the wrong way. Los Alamos just trying to stabilize the defense here a little bit. A little bit of misplay there by Aztec. And he's going to have another crack at this. See if he can go for his third off the post shot or not. Landboy. Right to I punch Llamas. Unfortunately, he did have a Pretty open net there. And they had good uh, demo play going. Ryan was trying to make contact, just barely miss. They've been doing some good rotations on doing bump plays, so see how that fares. Yeah, really only the dangerous shot was that open net for uh, Aztec. Otherwise, the defense has been playing pretty solid so far. Looks like Chocolate's pretty well comfortable in the air. He's been going for a lot of uh, quick shots in the air and trying to get a hard clear. Let his other teammates go for a shot. No, overall, Aztec's actually playing really solid here. Not giving up anything easy so far. Ryan with an aerial play here. And again, really nice second touch. This time off the uh, crossbar able just to have enough boost in the tank to get that second touch. Really beautiful goal. I believe that gives Ryan the hat trick. Three goals in the first match here. Yeah. 
Definitely uh, going to start seeing some more coming from uh, Reese here, I think. Uh, once they get a game under the belt, both Reese will start getting that ball control going, and then Henry's going to have a little more confidence and going for those aerials. I think you're absolutely right. You know, one thing we did see last week was once we got the first game won, make sure we keep that communication going. Not give up yes. anything easy. Ryan with the open net there, unfortunately not able to get a tough angle. And a great start for the Los Alamos side with game one. Any thoughts, Coach Goodbody? Looked like a... Uh pace of the game started kind of picking up near the end at first uh aztec was just outpacing them and keeping them running to where they can get those fast breakaways and now it's uh los almost caught up to it and started playing a little bit faster getting those passes out mid no that's a good it's a good uh good take on it i think you're absolutely right looks like uh ryan might be switching out cars here i'm not sure why <laughs> decal change apparently. decal change uh, that's that's what I do all the time. I say once you have a hat trick, probably not wise to change up cars, <laughs> unless he's not happy about those shots going off the posts initially. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's uh, a little inaccurate apparently with that. Even though he was just telling me today, he's ninety for five percent gameplay was all with Octane. So we'll see what he chooses now. Alright, so yeah, this is a best of five series. Los Alamos leading 1-0 after the first match of a three to one three goals to one victory. Transition back here to the game. See if we can't capture some replays this time, Coach Goodbody. I apologize. As we go along, we'll see how these players go and we'll catch them on this hard plays that they try and push out, especially with the aerial goals. And immediately up for this soft touch. Three players there for Aztec to make that save. And there is another fast break here. Chocolate this time getting out in front of all three Los Alamos players. Not quite sure how that happened. Looks like a really nice touch just to pass Henshina, I believe. And yeah, just slight touch around him. He fully flipped for it and just put him out of position just by a little bit. A yeah, really nice touch there. See if Los Alamos can equalize here. Up at the moment, dangerous ball into the middle. Fortunately, another double commit there from Los Alamos. Lamboy going up this time with a nice bump. Let's see if Hachina can make a connection back to Lamboy here. Oh, great demo. Clearing out the field, buying some time. Beautiful. And going up for another aerial. See if he can get a double touch. There is the high punch llamas there is there for defense. For an unranked player, that was a pretty good play off the backboard. Yeah, I'm thinking he's of the diamond variety. Yeah. Very nice play. Backboard clears and plays are pretty pretty rough to do consistent, so. Really nice interception there by Ryan. That was critical. Going for a shot on target off the wall. Chocolate with the save this time. Chocolate going for an aerial of his own. He's not going to be able to reach it, but Conchina is there for a save. Really nice soft touch out to Ryan. I punch Lava is able to turn on that really nicely, though. Conchina has a little bit of trouble here. Pops it straight up. This ball is still in play for the uh, for the Tigers. But past the middle. Really dangerous shot by a punch llamas. He fired dragon, not quite in position, but is able to get a bump. Another dangerous ball. See if Lamboy can make a play here. I just kind of push it to the middle. Nobody in nobody in position there for Los Alamos. Both a good touch to the middle. It's a dangerous ball again. He fired Dragon's gonna try to backflip this. Unfortunately, he just puts it right up for Lambo. He's going for a double touch. It turns into a fake. Ryan with the follow up. Not quite. It is on target, but blocked easily. And yeah, that the long plank of that Batmobile. Wow. Yeah. Had good coverage, and they were able to capitalize on that. Second goal <coughs> here. I punch Lama as the wild card with a really great pass to himself. Probably didn't need that second touch, but just ensures that it goes right in the net. 
So they're showing his name tag that he's a plat uh, tournament winner. So okay. that's season three. So yeah, that was last season. He's probably working his way. Really good, really good catch of that detail. Coach good body. I think you're absolutely right. Right on the diamond level there. So yeah, the tiger is putting up a really nice game so far here. So what we're thinking is somewhere around three diamond level players, which probably are looking like communication's pretty good. We did see a few double commits early on, but overall they've stabilized nicely. Amboy turning on that early. Ryan now at the pass in the middle. Amboy's going to follow this up and see if he can get a play off the backboard here. Ryan does sneak Ooh. one in. Just Third in the right shot. spot. Yep. <laughs> Waiting for that clear coming off from Chocolate, and he just popped it right to Ryan. He was able to read that. Yeah, we've seen that Tigers play so many times off the backboard. Not really clearing it that strongly, so Ryan able to read that really nicely. So Asamo's getting one goal away now from Tigers here in the second game. Fire Dragon seeing the aerial play. We've seen the last man miss a couple times now for Los Alamos, and they immediately get a goal back. This unfortunate. I'm not sure if uh, that was Landboy if he ran out of boost or, or what ha exactly happened there. Just a little unfortunate from the Los Alamos side to give that one up. Yeah, a few too many easy goals here, Coach Goodbody. Yeah. Looks to me like uh, rotations... A little bit off on uh, Los Alamos. They're kind of having a weird rotation where a uh, second man isn't quite following right behind uh, first man, waiting for something to either get be cleared or uh, third man's just not aware that those hard touches are coming in from that Batmobile. No, you're right. Chocolate is going to have a shot on goal. The upper level, again, placement very nice there by the Tigers team. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't know what you saw there. A little confusion there. going on there. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. like both Henry and Ryan were back post, not knowing who's going to go first. Really nice bump there by Punch Lamas to clear some space for himself. Look at this little fake flick there. Tigers with some confidence leading 4-1 in the second game. Very nice Ooh. demo there by Ryan to get Landboy an open shot, and he takes advantage immediately. Yeah, nothing he could really do about that. Great play from Ryan there. He was very close by Ipon Chalamas. He almost had that save. Yeah, you see that uh, demo right there in the bottom left of your screen there from Ryan to clear out that goal. Very nice play. Well, it's almost two goals away now, just 45 seconds left. They're going to have to make something happen here. They're going to have to push a few more numbers forward. This ball is very dangerous here for the Tigers, and Sheena is able to control it. Gives it right to Ryan with a power shot in. Wow. And suddenly, Los Alamos again one goal away, making a nice comeback here in the past 20 or 30 seconds. It was a great call by Ryan to go and cut him off and just go straight for a shot. Chocolate wasn't quite able to react to it. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful play. All right, 34 seconds left. Let's see if they can make an equalizer here for the Los Alamos side. Ladboy, great pass off the backboard. Ryan just not quite on target. Tigers a little bit panicked here. Ryan with another demo. That demo play is working well the last minute. See if Ryan can control this. Actually goes for a block. No contact was made. Ladboy does win that 50. Ryan's going to take it, get a shot on target. You have seen that backboard clear from the Aztec side. Someone's going to have to keep this in the air. Three defenders in place for the Aztecs. and Almost not quite able to get that last equalizing goal. So a really nice game for both teams, actually. Really close game. The Aztecs. Yeah, whatever they're... Whatever their coach had said definitely was a good peck talk. They uh, started doing better... Uh, rotations on there, clears and everything like that. They started giving each other space instead of uh, doing double commits like on the first game. No, you're, you're absolutely right. It seemed like the communication was on point there. 
So what's your take on I Punch Llamas? Do you think he's uh, actually <laughs> flat, or do you think he's a little higher? Um, I don't know. I think he's probably a high plat, would be my guess. Um, but it seems like he's playing with familiar players, so I'm, I'm guessing this team has been practicing a lot this season, and he probably seems pretty comfortable with them. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. He's definitely uh, working with, seems like, Chocolate. They've been doing a lot of passing plays, and then after they go through, E-Fire Dragon comes through and cleans up. So one one match here. See what the coaching... See what the coaches have to say about this. Uh, if there's any adjustments being made here. We'll hop right into game three here as soon as the players are ready. And a fake kickoff there by Landboy. Great read by Punch Llamas. He just yeah. went and turned around and took it back to his own team side and players wanted to hold control. <laughs> <laughs> Sheena there with a nice pass to the middle. Fortunately, the follow up's not there. Ryan is on the far post, but. He's a little bit stronger pass for that one. Boy misses that, but we... Ooh, ooh. Really critical miss there, unfortunately. A little awkward bounce off the bottom corner, I would say. Yeah. Landboy not expecting that to come off the wall. And E-Fire yeah. Dragon reads it perfectly. He had no momentum going into that. I think uh, it's best to just have someone come through fresh and clean. Have a good angle on it and go for it. Like Chocolate's displaying some really good dribble skills, and Reese had a great challenge there, almost wow. in the net. And boy, with another opportunity to see if he can make a play. Really great touch, oh, Lamboy. Definitely Just, a highlight play there for Lamboy with a gentle touch on that last second play there. Great control. He made everybody jump for that one. Yeah, a really beautiful touch there. Seemed like a team bump coming from them as well. <laughs> yeah, right right beyond two defenders up in the air. The only spot the ball could go. Let's see if Slamboy catches a little bit of fire here. Making another play, another shot, not quite on target. To pass out to Ryan. Ryan in the right spot Great at the right time. Up. Excellent. Landboy had good patience. He knew he can clear that nice and hard off of that corner and then uh, go right into that. Back wall as a pass, baited okay. out the chocolate for a 50. Yeah, immediately you get a uh, quick goal and a quick assist there. So Lamboy starting to vibe a little bit with the rest of his teammates. Miss there by the Aztec side. See if Ryan can start making some plays here. You're getting bumped relentlessly by this Batmobile. able to push it out fortunately right into Aztec's hands see if Chocolate can make an aerial play on this uh, able to keep it in play he fired dragon not quite on target there tough break for the Aztec side this is good ball in the middle but Ryan is there good rotation back it's like Aztec is doing a good job at boost starving uh, a lot of our players are pretty low on boost Yeah, it was a really nice bump play there by e Fire Dragon. Unfortunately, the third man was not quite there to uh, get that ball on, on target. Beautiful 50 Great. by 50. Landboy. He's feeling it, I'm telling you. Yep. You've awoken the dragon. Here he comes. Yep. <laughs> Perfect read maybe there. He just, maybe he just really likes llamas, and now he's taking it out on I Punch Llamas. <laughs> So a little bit of a breathing room here suddenly for Los Alamos after going one goal down in this third game. Los Alamos leading 3-1. See if Henshina can come into this action. Not quite sure what the scoreline looks like. Yeah, it's been all Lamboy and Ryan so far. Henshina hopefully he's going to get some shots on goal here. Ryan not quite able to get there in time for the pass. Chocolate. Really nice ball control. Ryan... Able to swoop in with two Aztec 
offensive players at that point going for the ball. Probably able to beat one. Two more defenders to beat. Ryan is there. Very trustworthy so far in this game in terms of rotating back into defense. Aztec getting a little impatient with Ryan and going for the demo there. E Fire Dragon is going to have a shot. Not quite on target. And I Punch Llamas now. Only going for a bunch of demos. Does leave them exposed if they do get beat, which you see there by Lamboy. Second pass out to the middle. Ryan able to push it to the corner. And Sheena, the last man back, is able to get to the middle. So safe plays by both teams there. Punch Llamas breaks free here, but really nice 50 by Ryan. And going to follow this up. No more boost. He's probably going to return home, though. He goes immediately for an aerial play. Unbelievable what a read. block there. Coach Goodbody, that was very nice. And it seems to me uh, this round they're staying grounded for Aztec. They're not trying to commit in the air all too much. They're trying to at least get one-to-one -one for a player and not have those triple commits that they started doing in the beginning of this game. So... Sheena, here's his chance. Can he make a play? Not quite. Ooh. Good shot. Great Still attempt at a bounce dribble play. there. Yeah. Look very promising. Ryan. Defensive powerhouse this game so far. Been blocking everything. Aztec running out of time here. And boy, not able to clear that with a lot of power. Second shot. In by I Punch Llamas. Los Alamos thrown off a little bit by a fake there. Looked like Chocolate was going to make a touch on that, and I Punch Llamas just waiting in the shadows. And Sheena pushes out just a little too far, I would say, on that. And suddenly Aztec now knocking at the door in the last seconds of this game. Yeah, I agree with you. It was a little, a little overextended, but maybe they had a little too much comfort with that buffer on the goals, but. And just one goal away and they can tie it up. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me, 20 seconds left. Yep, Asamos able to push into the tech side here. Just keeping that pressure up. Offense is the best defense. This is going to be a very dangerous ball in for Aztec. And oh. Unbelievable. Not wow. quite able to get that extremely dangerous pass in. A little bit lucky there for the Los Alamos side. See the last seven seconds of that play as a replay in the corner here. Los Alamos able to sneak one. Sneak one away that, at the end there. That double touch almost came through as a goal, but Ryan was placed pretty well on that. Helped Absolutely. deflect it. Yeah, as we said, Ryan with stalwart defending that game. It doesn't show in the saves category, but... Every every pass that was leading to a shot, pretty much blocked by Ryan. Don't know how many clears he had. It seemed like he was uh, playing hard, <clears throat> hard third man on this. Uh, he stayed back, waiting for a pass out, and only if he knew it was definitive for a fifty, he would go for it. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. So, a little bit of coaching going on, sounds like. One game away here from Los Alamos for taking this uh, best of five series. Aztec's going to have to come back. We shall see what happens now. wonder if that uh, decal switch is what's paying off for <laughs> the Aztec team. <laughs> Ryan didn't get but one goal yesterday, or yesterday, excuse me, uh, last game. So we'll see what exactly. comes out of this one. It was a bold move to go, go for a decal change after the hat trick, guys. I still am shaking my head a little bit on that. Fake shot here by I Punch Llamas. Second fake shot, probably not on purpose by E Fire Dragon, but Chocolate is able to uh, follow up as a third man on that ball that just sitting there in front of goal forever. So we saw this last game. Aztec takes a quick 1-0 lead. And boy, with a really nice touch. I punch Llamas in position. Great pass out to mid. Going to be a 
Tough ball for Osamo Sarid after that deflection. Shina, see if he can make some little plays here. Unfortunately, he just turns around and lets Lamboy take this. 50-50 is pretty even there. Ryan does get beat. Shina going to go for a really nice touch. See if he can get a pass in the middle here. Not quite able to get the deflection off the corner. Lamboy and Ryan kind of double committing, but Ryan was in the right there to wait for that aerial to come down. Sheena able to push it to the middle. Fortunately, two Aztec players in position there. Ryan with a really nice shot off the wall there. Air Dragon does get the interception. Gonna go for a pinch off the wall. A little bit over the oh, crossbar. Seems to me like we have uh, two defenders just kind of waiting around back post. They're a little timid on this round. Yeah, and it, it's costly because one player is expecting the other go. There's a little bit of a delay. Machina not quite able to make a play on that. I'm sure he called it out, but fortunately it was too late by that point. And everybody in an awkward spot. So we've seen the Los Alamos side come back from two goals down. Definitely don't want to give up a third one, though. And then Lamboy double committing for that shot again. Maybe it's a pinch <laughs> from the optimist yeah. view. <laughs> yeah, I think they're getting a little too uh, heavy on freestyling, maybe. Great read by Henry from inside the net. Exactly. Read that backboard. Awesome turn and clear. Yeah, I rely on Henry once again for that. Let's see if Ryan can create some space for himself. Not able to get a strong pass out to the middle, unfortunately. And Sheena does get a good first touch. It's going to be a little dicey here. Ryan clears it nicely. And Sheena is ready with the follow up if Ryan can get a play. And unfortunately, Chocolate just too fast to get up in the air there. Great pass from Enchina there to right to Ryan and just came back to clean it up. Yeah, Ryan wasn't able that. to get right back to it. The boost got stolen by E-Fire Dragon, so Ryan just said, hey, go for it. Yeah. Tip it in. That's a beautiful pass out from the middle for Ryan there. And really good follow-up by Enchina to know where it's coming. Excellent play overall. Like they're starting to get their comms down, let people know where they are, uh, where they are at on the field, and try and make sure that they don't have any double commits coming through. Really awesome good. pinch by Landboy there. Ryan just goes out, follows it up, rotates out, goes for bumps. They're keeping this pressure very good on the second half of the game. See if Lamboy can control this a bit more. Nice fake there. Fortunately, E Fire Dragons is his position. Chocolate does take a quick turn on this. Ryan with a nice pinch. Second touch with the aerial. See if he can get a 50 here. Backflip by I Punch Llamas is really, really unfortunate for the Aztec side there. You see this going up, and unfortunately, a classic Rocket League play. Great placement it. from Reese there. That was. Man, he, excuse me, Hinchina, he just thread the needle right in between those two defenders. That might be a difference maker here in this fourth game. If we can get Hinchina heat up here a little bit, good to get him on the scoreboard here. Yeah, he actually came into this game cold, no practice, didn't get to play too much, so I think you're right. He's just now getting into it. Yeah, we've seen him as a critical piece of this offense in the first preseason and first preseason games and the first game of the season last week. Ooh, really tough bump there by E Fire Dragon. Chocolate able to lock it right in. Look at this. They just keep on trading back and forth for bump plays there. Targeting their nemesis, Ryan. With one minute left here, we have the Tigers with a one-goal lead. 
See how Los Alamos react here. All right. Good opportunity here from Ryan. Really nice read. Not able to beat the second player. Unfortunate, another double commit there from the Los Alamos side, and that's going to be bouncing goal in for the Tigers. Uh, uh, looks like both of them just couldn't quite get the read. They thought the other two players were also going to shoot. So. Yep. Ooh, tough to watch that, Coach Good Buddy. Ooh. That's right. There's always another game waiting for you. Don't don't ever Land live that boy. replay because they just answered back right there. Land Great boy, fast breathing, aerial. Breathing life. <coughs> back into the Los Alamos side with a really nice steep aerial. That's the second flip we've seen from I, I Punch Llamas. <laughs> a little unfortunate. But Los Alamos with about 25 seconds to get a equalizer here. Machina not able to make contact. Ryan does have a shot here. Second attempt. See if Los Alamos can make a play on this. Land boy trying to be a hero. This is going to be really tough to control from here. Ryan with the final shot. Can he make a second touch? He cannot. See if Hinchina can keep this alive. He can. Land boy is going to need to help that. He does. And that will be it. Another demo from the Aztec side. And another close game. The last three games all won by just a single goal, I believe. Seems to be always a scramble right at the net, trying to get that <laughs> zero second goal in. And man, gets you stressed. Ah, I'm sweating. Yeah. I'm not even playing. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, certainly goodness. for the viewer, this is a, a really, really nice batch to watch. Uh, really solid play from both teams. You know, a couple mistakes there by the Aztec side with those backflips, but uh, overall, Chocolate really carrying this game. Four goals. I didn't even notice that during the course of play. Did see uh, demo plays from I Punch Llamas and E Fire Dragon to open those uh, open those holes for Chocolate just to dribble through. So, I think just awareness that demos are starting to come in will help the Los Alamos side in this next game. The great point that you brought up. I did not notice he scored all the goals for that team. It looks like he's been running around doing saves and shots. So I think he's the fastest player if we can target him, but also he's moving fast. It's hard to get that demo on him. Exactly. This is all for game point and final game five here. Let's see what happens on this one. Yeah, really high pressure situation. One game for all the marbles here. Ryan able to get a shot on goal. Deflected just away by E Fire Dragon. We got two Los Almost players closing in. Let's see if Hinchina can turn on this. He's not able to. High Punch Llamas wins that 50 50. And boy, pushing a really nice ball in the middle. Hinchina does have a shot here. I don't know if he has enough boost. Not able to get there in time. Ryan's going to follow this up. A shot on target. I punch llamas, pushes it back. If Hinchina can grab this boost, he will have a shot. Open net. Unfortunately, miffs it. Just flipped the wrong way there, but it looks like they're going for rotations on uh, draining the boost of Aztec, and I think it might pay off if they can keep up this pressure. It's been in the ha their half the whole time. Yes, absolutely, Ryan. Power shot. Ooh, going for his patented post play. I punch llamas with a nice shot off the backboard, trying to give Aztec some breathing room. This is going to be a dangerous shot if I Punch Llamas can get on it. Ryan turns right around, going for that double touch. Oh, great clear by E Fire Dragon there. Man, he had a great pinch off of that crossbar and it sent it flying there, not allowing Ryan to do a double touch. Chocolate coming in for a nice shot. Great speed coming out of both sides. And he's going to get his money's worth here if he get this second touch. Aztec just relentless on that backboard, though. Ryan with another turn. Really difficult to read that ball. Ooh. Not sure if it's going to hit the corner. A bit of a fast break here for Aztec. Nobody in goal at the moment. Ryan able to clear that away just barely. 
second touch there from Chocolate. He's gonna try to pinch this. Instead gets a soft touch and a really unfortunate pinch in there by Hinshina. Oof. Wonder if he was just low boost, could not get that nose up and try and use some boost on that. Just a yeah. simple double jump was all he had. Yeah, I was, as I called it, I was expecting the pinch off the backboard, and I don't think anyone is really expecting that soft touch. Really unfortunate here on the kickoff. Chocolate's going to get another play, putting Aztec up 2 0. Not quite sure what happened there, Coach Goodbody. Yeah, it seemed like there had to be someone out of position or a double commit that I did not see. All right, so Los Alamos, after a minute straight of pressure on the Aztec side, not able to capitalize, and now it's suddenly down 2-0, have their work cut out for them. Let's see if they can stabilize here. He's on target, but a routine save here by Ryan. Balls it up with a kill. Let's see if Ryan can get a deflection here can. Land boy. Oh, and Sheena actually in position. And boy pushing it to the middle off the backboard to see if Ryan's in position. He is, but the Aztec defense have seen that play every time off the backboard, it seems like. Land boy does have an option here. Somehow gets a, a chip shot in. Ooh. And I think, unfortunately, Land boy just saved his own, own shot. Oh my gosh. It seems to me like Aztec is just waiting for Los Alamos to go for an aerial. If they miss it, then they capitalize on it. Everybody stay grounded for Ryan's uh, aerial play there. Yep. Still plenty of time on the clock here. Sheena not expecting that ball to hit off the top, but really great 50-50 by Landboy. Ryan having to make a tough aerial play here. Unfortunately, doesn't quite pay off. He's going to have to get back. This ball is going right to the middle for I Punch Llamas. And I punch Llama is able to angle that ball perfectly into the upper right corner. Look at him take the take take his time on that. Just out of yeah, reach placed, of Ryan. Placed it far side and man, they are just being relentless on these shots. Great defensive play by I punch Llamas. We've been seeing a lot of backboard play coming from Man, some of these pinches, they just have a lot of power, and those are hard to read, and uh, there's the there's the outcome of it there. The proverbial wheels are falling off the Los Alamos side at this moment. Unfortunately, whiff there. A little bit of bad mammer, manners from uh, High Punch Llamas. <laughs> yeah, oh, the just, early uh, GG. <laughs> Getting a little ruthless there. <laughs> see if it lights a bit of a fire in the Los Alamos side. We haven't seen him score quick goals here. Just as I say that, Ryan is able to get a, a shot here. Yeah, that was a full field air dribble attempt. Uh, <laughs> man, that was just a hard clear. <laughs> So yeah, I think uh, Aztec certainly defensively minded the first the first part of this game, and they're just waiting for mistakes. Ryan, oh, capitalized really on that pass out from Hinchina. Wow, beautiful. that was a great touch right off the back of his car by Hinchina. Get that ball out to the middle for Ryan. Capitalizes nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, I punch Llama is regretting saying that. I don't know yeah. if he. Uh, was just trying to have fun, but I don't know. I don't think game five of a best of five series is the right place or right time for uh, hijinks. Yeah. Well, it's almost 30 seconds left, and unfortunately, might be a little bit of a dagger the Los Alamos side it comes right back with this confidence. 
It's getting a little nasty in the chat here. I'm a little unprofessional here, but <laughs> hey, I guess they want to play like that. <laughs> And boy, it's a little bit of an unfortunate touch there. Let's see if Hinchina can clear this out. Not quite there. And this match is going to come to an end. Obviously an exciting match. Going all the way to game five here. The Aztec, the Aztec Tigers taking this match three games to two. That was just uh, unfortunate. The reads couldn't be uh, brought out. Some of the ball control wasn't quite there, and a lot of the game speed just kept on getting cranked up there. No, absolutely. Really uh, good learning. Learning. Uh, learning some lessons from both teams here. Actually, um, good. Good match to uh, have some of these younger players, at least on the Los Alamos side, learn from. Ryan obviously taking control there in game two and three. Not quite able to bring them back in a, in a epic comeback here in game five, unfortunately. I think a lot of it was just trying to figure out the communication roles and see who was going to go full commit. And sometimes it was a double commit coming out. So that's right. That's just a. Uh, Working out the kinks in the beginning of a new season and try and work those out before uh, it gets ready for playoffs. Absolutely. So, close out of match here. See if I can't put up the scoreboard successfully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was just such a fast paced. Uh, series there we couldn't even keep up with uh what was going on at least we had it up in the top end on the whole game so we can see who's who's marks on the third and fourth game bringing it all the way to that game five and making it a nail biter definitely i Absolutely. was uh, clenching my controller and i wasn't even playing <laughs> <laughs> so there i think i am successfully able to uh put up the final score here Two to three in favor of uh, Aztecs. So kind of a new, new team in town here. And forgot to mention that was actually uh, Coach Tony's original high school that oh, he went to. That's right. I don't know if he should feel good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> really good point. Let's see if I can capture a couple of replays we can look at here. It'd be really interesting for uh, going back, looking over some uh, FOD review on this, see how much that Batmobile might have played some role in there because that ball speed was insane. There was always a heavy 50-50, and that pinch would just send it flying. Hard to read. Really good point. Yeah, the Batmobile analysis certainly will be something to look at here. As, as you said, You know, some some players are able to acquire that again just recently. Tigers with some confidence. I think I'm able to leading 4-1 in the second game. Very nice Ooh, demo there by Ryan to get Landboy an open shot. Plays. And he takes advantage immediately. Yeah, it looks like this is the one where uh, Landboy comes in and shoots it right between the two defenders after a demo play. Yeah, I think that was... Uh, that was game two there. But it looks like by the marks on the top. Here. Oh, yeah, good call. Taking another play, it's another shot. Three. Not quite on target. Really it's a pass out to Ryan. Ryan in the right spot Great at the right time. Up. Excellent. Yeah. Times were good. Man boy had good patience. He knew he can clear that. Definitely had a connection knowing, hey, I'm going to go and bang this Next out into the here. mid. Just keep there. That pressure up. Work your way back <laughs> and try and the defend the, the rebound because sometimes that's a that's it's a big a key role. Is if you get a heavy tech. rebound, it could bounce right back into your net. And oh, unbelievable. There's that nail biter right there at the right. end. Exactly. Lucky lucky that that didn't go into overtime. Ooh. Tough to watch that. Coach, good buddy. Ooh. From game three here. That's so right. Four. There's, There's always another game waiting for you. Don't, don't ever oh, live that replay because they just answered back right there. Land Great for Ariel. Ariel on that. Yeah, that was the start of the comeback there. Tigers with some confidence 
Unfortunately, not quite enough. Leading 4-1 in the second game. There for Very nice Ooh. demo there by Ryan to get Landboy an open shot. So again, final score, 3-2. to two. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the Twitch channel if you enjoyed this stream. Otherwise, any, any parting words, Coach Goodbody? I think uh, everybody showed up, got some good goals out of it, and... It was just unfortunate that they couldn't get any warm-up going before the game, but, man, Aztec really showed up and played and was able to adapt as, as Los Alamos was adapting themselves. So that was a good good series. <laughs> oh, really good series. Really entertaining series. So always good to see that in Rocket League, even if, even if Los Alamos comes, comes out on the uh, losing side here. Definitely some uh, biased casters here, but that's all right. Yeah, applause goes out to them. and. Unfortunate that we had someone that, you know, did start uh, bringing out some unsportsmanlike <laughs> conduct, I would say. But right yeah. after those two consecutive goals started going, he was regretting it. <laughs> yeah, no, you're absolutely right. So certainly uh, in the heat of the match here, certainly stress is a little bit high, but probably not the right way to uh, to capitalize on that with the early GG. Not Not quite appropriate, but anyway, I'm sure the... Coach is probably not too happy with that either, but alas, these are all learning moments for all the players here. Yep, they're young. They'll start learning throughout life that maybe sometimes don't call it before you actually end the game. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely found that out the hard way with you. You, you are the fifty-fifty <laughs> king, and you always bring it back in one v ones. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. We'll see you next week. See you guys.